Hey y'all, Matt Sears and Matt Sinis here again. We're going to get another video here, look at the Bablot RDC and find out how it works. Okay, here it is. Look at first. See, this is a really neat machine. It's got a lot of options to work with the racket. We're going to take a look at all those measurements now. We're going to get our test racket. So, Wilson K61 team. Don't let the Matt Sinis logo on the strings bar. That's just a shameless plug. But now we're going to look at what we can do with the machine. Now, we're going to take the tulip out here for just a second. We'll use that again later for a couple of things. Now we're going to check the weight. We're going to pull out the plate to weigh the racket on. Now if we have a really wide-headed wide or head-heavy racket, we can pull out the wings to support it on so it doesn't tip over while we're weighing it. We don't need it for this racket, so we're going to stick it back in. We're going to, put the, we're going to push the number one button to weigh it. And now we're going to put it on a scale, and it's going to flash up a weight for us. If you can see that, it weighs... 305 grams. Okay, we're going to lock that in with the number 9 button. That's there. We don't have to worry about losing it. Close that back down. We can take the balance here as well. We're going to put it on here. We can we can fish it back and forth. This won't show up in the readings we're going to take later, but for our curiosity, we're going to roll it forward until it pops, get it back down. And this balance of this racket is... 344 millimeters. Keep that in mind later on if we do some customizing with the racket. Now we're going to put the tulip back in. We're going to check the flex of the racket. Okay, so it's the tip of it sets right there. We're going to put the end here, lock it down there. We're going to push the flex button here, number three. It's going to bend the racket. See if you can see this. As soon as it touches the head, now it's going to start bending it down, flexing it. Don't worry, it won't break. I'm going to let it go now. And now we've got a flex number of 60. I'm going to lock that in. 60 is not very stiff. A lot of people like this racket because the flex is pretty friendly. Now we're going to use the tulip again. We're going to test the stiffness of the string bed. We're going to put it about in the middle. Here the string face. Let it drop in. Hold it still. We're going to push the number 2 button. Now this is going to bend the strings down. It's depressing. You're going to get a feel for that. They're simulating how you hit the ball. Now we're going to lock that regimen in. We've got a string reading of 51. Now, last but not least, and excuse me for that one, the coolest thing, we're going to check the swing weight. We're going to lock the frame in here. Okay, we're going to push the number 4 button to get the swing weight. We're going to let it swing a few times. The number is going to come up here in just a second. Okay, we have a swing weight of 319 kilograms per square centimeter standard swing weight measurement and now we're going to push the diagnostic button right here we're going to get power control and maneuverability ratings for this racket power of 45 which is B maneuverability 57 B and one of the great things about this racket maneuverability of 74 which is A now we can use those to compare other rackets we can also make changes in this racket if we want to have more power more control or even less maneuverability. Some people like it a little heavier. We know what we can do to customize it with this machine. We also know what we can do to match other rackets up from the readings we get on these rackets. So a really neat machine. Don't ask how much it costs. You don't want to know. But if you bring your rackets by here to Match Tennis, we can check them. We can verify that your rackets match or don't match and do whatever work necessary to make them do that. Please come by. Talk to you soon again. Bye.